Hey, there you are. Good to see you. I'm John Zadar. This is February 3rd, Wednesday. You're watching On Top and Hot. I am the stock wizard who will be presenting the information and we are doing this on behalf of our Discord group, Titan Trading. We love to talk about OTC stocks and penny stocks, NFTs and cryptocurrencies. So if you're interested in any of these, come on over. It's free, folks. We love to share information. Come share with us. So what do I do here? Well, I like to look at OTC and penny stocks. I like to find stocks that got something going for them, some hidden potential, something. And today I found one, which wasn't easy. It was a very bleak market today. Very few shares sold on the OTC market. It's anorexic. So to find a stock that actually has value and potential that's literally moving on the market was a chore. But I got a good one for you today. And they had news and it really has made a difference and where this company is going to go and I think you'll want to see it right now come on I'll share it with you so the first stock we're going to be jumping into is SFOR. This is Strikeforce Technologies, and we're going to be doing our initial due diligence on the OTCMarkets.com simply because it's not outdated information. I hate doing searches getting old stuff, so I just start right here. Strikeforce today had a good day. She had news. It was good news on top of more good news. They ended the day at 0 0.0589, just under six cents with 64% gains. This is on the OTCQB. That's the middle tier. It's the better market. The reason it's better is because once you get to the QB, you have to audit your financials. So they're more transparent. We see where the money's going and how it's being spent, and it's audited. We know they're real figures. They have a verified profile and a transfer agent verified. That's good. We want to see these green ticks over here. And they have independent directors. Now, they probably had those just to uplist to the QB from the pink, I'm presuming. And they're going to need them if they want to uplist to the NASDAQ. Same situation. So what does this company do? Well, Strikeforce Technologies provides a suite of online products that helps prevent cyber theft and data breaches by protecting customers. They do all sorts of stuff to protect individuals' information, and they're primarily focused in that collaboration. When two companies are talking online through Zoom or something like that, their videos aren't as secure with most companies. Sending documents, not very secure. Uh, you're typing on the keyboard. Information can be hacked just from monitoring your keyboard strokes. So they cover all sorts of things. And they had some great news come out today, which really kicked it off. And it was a curveball, but I expected it because they can do anything with cybersecurity. Everybody needs that. So what was the relative volume on this stock today? Well, it actually looks pretty good. We've got about 3.84 million per day for the last 30 days. Today we've got 51 million. Just like that, we jumped up 12 times the volume. What is her share structure? Yo, oh, not real great. We got 897 million, just shy of a billion shares. Her financials, they are making money. Had a great year during COVID. I would suspect that cybersecurity was a big issue and they were definitely doing well. Other than that, they're doing just over 200,000. We know that because we put those three zeros behind there. And she's not paying very much for her income. Matter of fact, that three quarter million only cost her 10,000. This 200,000 cost her 13. Hmm, better deal back there. I guess inflation wasn't kicking in yet. And what are her disclosures? I don't think she has anything current. No, we don't have anything since December of 2021. So let's jump over to that news. Now, they've got lots of news, and it's about their improvements. They did make a deal here a little while ago, which we're going to cover in the news, but they did make a deal. They are primarily getting the word out. That is what most of their news is. They are doing all sorts of things to advertise and let every single company know what it is they do and how they can protect their information. They are so keen on it that they're actually asking the government to make this a standard. I mean, I don't know how exactly you go about that, but they're trying to get this security since it works so well as a standardized feature across the entire network. 
So we've got two pieces of news I thought pretty much say it all. We have a Strikeforce Technologies business update for 2022. That'll catch us up with what they've done and where they're going, which is a big deal. And then today's news. So let's just jump into that update for 2022. This came out January 18th, so it's only a couple weeks old. The CEO says, to say that Strikeforce is undergoing a business transformation that will reshape our future and propel sales and increase shareholder value is an understatement. We have a killer strategy for 2022. We have products, exploding market opportunity, and monies to promote our products and services to achieve our revenue projections, and then some. This coming year is going to be epic for Strike Force. Now, their primary product is Safe VChat. Safe VChat is an all encompassing cybersecurity platform for everything, folks, from video conferencing to sending documents to protecting your keystrokes. I mean, it's everything. And they learned what they needed to get because they sent out people talking to companies and corporations and says, what's lacking? Well, we don't get this from Zoom. We don't get this from Microsoft and we want it. We'd like to be able to record it. Can you make signing in easier for us? They came up with all sorts of stuff and they think it's great and that's what they want to standardize. Now they tell us right down here that they have been adding all of that stuff. Two weeks ago we finished adding a new recording feature, an upgraded performance platform and just this week we added facial recognition for quick super secure access control. From what we can tell by all the competitor sites we have built more cybersecurity into our safe VChat than all the competitors combined. Boy, they're boasting now, folks. Privacy Lock is the only cybersecurity solution in the market that protects your camera, microphone, speakers, keyboard, clipboard, and prevents people from even screenshotting your screen. This is all encompassing. With Privacy Lock's unrivaled features, it enables us to market it to anyone that uses Zoom. MS Teams, WebEx, or any other video conferencing solution. That's right. We believe we make Zoom and Team users more secure than Zoom and Microsoft does. Therefore, every video conferencing user is a potential user of Privacy Lock, just by common sense. Now, they understand that the growth opportunities in video conferencing is huge. We saw the jump in Zoom. Wow, did Zoom go crazy. But they needed more, so they started fixing it up, but they fell behind, just like Kmart's did and Walmart's moved ahead. I think this company is going to be a leader. They're going to take over this niche because they understand cybersecurity is what is primary, not functionality, but the security. And be to that end, they're pushing it out. They're advertising like crazy, not just on the internet. In late September, we launched the beginning of our marketing efforts and we started with a new website, then worked with keyword SEO specialists to optimize our web pages and achieve the highest search results. Ta-da, everybody's doing that. But we then added TV commercials, digital billboards, and just three weeks ago we started airing morning drive time radio commercials in the fifth largest radio market throughout Arizona. Then they get more specific. This coming week, we start shooting new TV commercials specific to safe VChat and Privacy Lock, which will air on national TV channels like CNN, CNBC, Fox and Fox Business, Bloomberg TV, Headline News, and The Weather Channel. We will also piggyback and add the new commercials to the 156 digital billboards throughout New York City. We are also looking to hire world-class advertising agency. They are in full swing. They really want to get the word out. And you know what advertising does. It brings in business. Now they go on to tell us that as most of you are aware, Strikeforce purchased CRS last year. Adding CRS as cyber wellness and breach defense programs dovetails perfectly with Strikeforce's products and strategy. Both CRS and Strikeforce offer products and services for home users 
and businesses. This coming week, now this is very interesting, this coming week CRS will be launching an incredible dark web monitoring tool. Individuals can search to see if their personal account details have been leaked or stolen in data breach by putting your email in the data breach checker and you can search, you can basically crawl the dark web and see if any of your information has actually gotten that far. Pretty incredible. Then he goes on and he says, all right, you want a projection how much we're going to make this year? Fine. I feel we should easily hit 1.3 million in sales this year. I know my number is conservative, but I've been wrong before and I don't want to be wrong again. Even though it's only a projection, I take it seriously. I'm sure most of you want me to project 5 million, 7 million, even 10 million. However, I feel comfortable with my current projection. But who knows? I may actually surprise all of us. At least I hope to. So that is what they're involved with. All sorts of security, monitoring uh, your hardware, monitoring your data, and giving you a chance to even search the dark web to see if any of your information is over there. Now this came out February 2nd. So that was today, folks. Strikeforce Technologies, Inc. announced today a new partnership with a cryptocurrency company whereby Strikeforce will provide its mobile and authentication technologies in return for 50% of net proceeds on all payment transaction fees. The CEO says, I am really excited about this announcement. The decentralized finance market is exploding and this literally positions Strikeforce front and center in the world of cryptocurrency transactions. Transactions. Strikeforce's partnership is the first step of many, capturing the demand and the necessity of cybersecurity in the crypto sphere. Strikeforce is providing its Panamanian partner the most secure wallet on the market. In addition to handling cybersecurity for the entire project, including its payment software, Per the executed memorandum of the partnership, Strikeforce shall receive 50% of the net proceeds derived from all payment transaction fees, for which they project about $700,000 for the year 2022. This revenue estimate is new and was not included in the previous forecast and should increase over the years. 50% that gives them $350,000 just in that deal alone, and that wasn't mentioned in his $1.5 million rest. Estimate, right? We will be announcing further details in about a month when they launch. They've got a lot going on. I can see a lot of companies just asking them to come on board, asking them to do this, and it's just going to be multiple and multiple streams. Personally, I think his $1.5 million projection is small, really small. Now, I'm not saying the man doesn't know his business, but this business here is the business of the world. Security, securing all of our information, making sure we're safe. Everything has to be safe or it's worthless. And this company has got that. And I think that they are going to pick up the market where Zoom has left off and people are going to flood over here just like they did to Zoom. Let's go take a look at that chart and see what it looks like. So there we have a six month, four hour chart for SFOR. And we're doing our charting on Thinkorswim. If you need a charting platform, get this one, it's free. I got it over at TD Ameritrade just for signing up for an account. You can too. No money down, you don't even have to trade with them. And you can get Thinkorswim for free and use it for free. So we are looking at SFOR on that six month, four hour chart and it was rough. For the first three months, she was under the 200 hard. Let's just take a back look, see where she came from. All right, we got the February stimulus month, which put everything out of whack. Everybody had money. They came in, obviously saw this company, thought it was hot, put a lot into it, kicked it clear up here to 32 cents. And that is what has got all of our SMAs looking kooky over here. Look at that, way too high. So it looks desperate here, looks real desperate. But as soon as this got close, it took off across it. Now I looked at the date. They did have a merger here with Cashmere Company about right here, but that's not when it started to jump. It started to jump down here. There's no news. I don't know what caused all of the initial breakout. That unless people knew something in advance, maybe there was something somewhere in an article. I don't know. But she took off across that 200 and just flew. And then she came down hard, real hard, 
and then flew again up and down. You can see she's volatile, folks. Just because she falls doesn't mean she's going to stay down. And right now she has fallen hard all the way down here to three cents from almost 12 cents. And we've got a huge spike today. Broke the 200 SMA on the four hour. That was a giant jump. Now take notice. She had a giant jump here and she had a giant jump here. And what is directly on the back side of those? A giant fall. A giant fall. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Now she is low. She could act differently being under the 200. She may act differently. Let's come in on that 20 day, one hour. So for 20 days, she has been just creeping under the 200 and something pushed her down. She hit that low bubble, came back up and is basically still on that same keel. She didn't really respond to that low bubble, which is interesting to me because I see a lot of value in this company. But the word cryptocurrency got this thing taken off. Look at that MACD. That is a tsunami pushing up off the beach. And we have a raging fire here, just raging. Now, this is overbought. A lot of people say, well, isn't it going to fall if it's overbought? It has to come back down. That is true. Inevitably, it does. But in the meantime, it's climbing. This is when you're getting your fastest growth is when you see this red. It could fall at any time, but you'll see your RSI come down to that signal line there at 70 and come below it. That's when you're going to sell. You know, why get out when it's screaming and, and climbing, right? So let's come down to that five day, five minute. Slow growth. She was on the 200 here, got above it just meandering across the board without a lot of excitement. And look at that volume. Whoa, that is a ton of volume. This company has a solid product. Their cybersecurity and working with videos and all that stuff, it's going to be big because, well, cybersecurity is just huge, but you don't see the excitement about it. But as soon as you mention DeFi, once you talk about decentralized finance, cryptocurrency, all of a sudden it's a different game because it's a different sector. That's a different revenue stream completely and it can be huge just in of itself. So we had a great day here. She started off at oh about 3.5 cents and she had a low bubble here of just over 3 cents. So we're just above that. And she went all the way up here to six and a half cents roughly, almost 100%. Seven cents would have been 100%. Now, when I see a strong surge, I expect a fall. About 50% is what I have learned, about 50%. And I'm just going to spitball a line in there. So I would have expected this to fall down here. And it still could, absolutely still could. However, we do see a strong support right there. So before she hit this, she would hit this. And that's a strong one. That went across there for over an hour. So if this fell, it might come down to 5352. Now, if we come in on a closer look, you can see that she is falling. We have had a crossover here. That is a negative sign. The blue has gone underneath the white line. So that is weakness. We see the red. It is falling. RSI is into the 50s. So she's on a dip. It, it, it could be a fall. And we have seen big falls after large surges. So don't be surprised. Don't buy in immediately either. Watch this. See if it tests here first. The 20 and the 200. There could be a bounce off of that. There is a lot of excitement around this stock. If it does not, there's your 50. Your 50-day SMA is very strong. It's a thicker board. These that 10 right there is like a wafer board. The 20 is like plywood. This 50 is like, uh, you know, uh, planking. So if it breaks this, it's probably going to land right there and you could get a price there. But if it goes under, this is where it's going to go. So we want to watch the traveling of this stock through the SMAs and the supports. And when you get a bounce back, you don't want to buy on the way down. You want to buy on the bounce back up I know you feel like you're not getting the best price, but you're paying for confirmation. It comes down, starts to come up. Wait for two bars. Wait for at least two bars to go up, up, then get in. 
then you have confirmation, at least an eight out of 10 chance that she is going the other direction. If you try to get the best price going down, 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 you don't know, it could keep going down after you bought in, and that's not the best price. So I like this, she's got a lot of potential. Look for a buy zone in here at around five, three, you'll probably get a good price, and I think she's gonna continue growing. I think there's a lot in store for this company. Now, I see big things for this company. Between cybersecurity and communication and cybersecurity and DeFi and finance, come on, can you imagine your banking not having the best security in the world? DeFi is going to jump on this. This company's got something that is really strong and they're going to try to standardize it and even if it's not standardized I think everybody will want to adopt it because it's just that good and I can't see this company going anywhere but up real fast the world is changing at an abrupt speed and this company looks like it's prepared to keep up with it on many fronts like I said I don't think his projection for 1.5 million is even close I think he's gonna blow that right out of the water by 400 percent at least this company has got something everybody's going to need around the world i mean seriously so do your dd there's a lot more to impress with this company the more you know the more you're going to grow